Ladies and gentlemen, the Bengal Chief Minister today was supposed to meet a delegation of protesting doctors, but then she was met with empty chairs. The visuals will be on your screens. She waited for two hours, but then was stood up by doctors for a second straight day. And then came something none of us really expected, an apology with a resignation offer. Mamta Banerjee, with folded hands, said that she has been waiting for two hours to meet the doctors and had also made arrangements according to them. But they stood her up and that she is forgiving them for this act. She has also asserted that she is not power hungry and that she can let go of the CM's chair if that is what the people want. Listen into these very dramatic reactions coming in from the Chief Minister. I tried my best to sit with the junior doctors. I spent three days for them, waiting, waiting and waiting that they should have come, they should have settled their problem. Even when they didn't accept the verdict of the Supreme Court, instead of that also, I waited three days with my highest officials, including Chief Secretary, Home Secretary, DG, and my MOS. But I am sorry, I apologize to the people. I apologize to the people of this country and the world people who are supporting them. Please give your support. I don't have any problem. We want justice for Tilottama. We want justice for common people. We want justice for treatment for common people. We want that as per Supreme Court instruction, they must join their duty. Though three days are over after the Supreme Court verdict, instead of that also we are not taking any disciplinary action. Because sometimes we have to tolerate. It is their duty to tolerate sometimes. आशा करी मानुष बुझते पाचन, उरा विचार चाहे ना, उरा चाहे चेयर, आमी मानुषी शर्ते, अमुन को निजे पौधोत्तक करते उरा राजी आ ची, आमार मुख्यमंत्री पौध चाहे ना, किंतु आमी चाहे मानुष विचार पाक, तिलोत्तम हो विचार पाक, आशादारों मानुष चिकित्सा पाक And we've got big news coming in on the urban debate. The first response from the doctors after those dramatic statements and, of course, a dramatic offer by West Bengal Chief Minister. The doctors who are protesting on the streets of West Bengal say they've never demanded the Chief Minister's resignation, but they insist they will continue with this. Tour. Let me quickly go across to my colleague, Adrija, who's joining us live at this point. Adrija, what are the doctors saying here? Have, uh, have they given a response as to why they stood the Chief Minister up by not turning up at the meeting, despite having most of the conditions met? And what is the next course of action? Well, you know, the doctors were very clear and very, uh, you know, strong in their uh, adamant and in their uh, point as well that they wanted a live streaming of the entire uh, discussion that takes place with Chief Minister Mamta Banerjee. Now, of course, you know, uh, during this, the state administration have not allowed a live streaming, but however, have mentioned that a videography would be allowed regarding the discussion that takes place and later with the permission of the Supreme Court that uh, those footages can also be released. But the doctors, the junior doctors who came here, or a 30-member delegation team to meet her to uh, discuss, uh, to re uh, try and reach a solution regarding the entire deadlock that has taken place. Uh, they refused to enter the, even the meeting room because the live streaming demand was not being met by uh, the administration. And at the same time, uh, you know, the doctors have come out and have mentioned the same thing, that they wanted the entire meeting to be live streamed so that no one else can, you know, misinterpret because this is a apolitical uh, movement okay. that they're conducting. And even, uh, you know, the Chief Minister, when she have mentioned about... Uh, All right. Adrija, thanks a lot for joining us with those details here. We'll leave you to go and speak to some of those doctors and get them on camera to get their response as well. Meanwhile, let me, without wasting any further time, go across to my guest joining me, Raj Chaudhary, spokesperson of the BJP, Dr. Riju Datta, national spokesperson of the TMC, Dr. Ishwar Gilada, Secretary General of OMAG, and also Dr. Bibu Anand, Joint Secretary of FIMA, joining me at this point. Dr. Bibu Anand, let me come to you first. We all understand the pain the doctors of India, especially that of Arjikar and West Bengal, are going through. Believe me, we have been supporting them for the past one month. We have been raising a campaign for them. We have been amplifying your voices every step here. But surely at a time when most of the demands have been met by the West Bengal Chief Minister, wasn't dialogue with the highest power in the state the best way to go forward? Was today a move that went too far in your opinion?
Actually, the thing is that uh, the first of all, I want to ask a simple question: Why we would have been compelled to do the strike? There was nothing like that. We were all uh, like to do a strike and have to suffer the for the patients. But the thing is that every time the incidents are happening, we are having bilateral talks, but the result is incomplete. But this time, we want justice for that lady doctor who has been brutally raped and murdered. as well as we want the central health protection act for our doctors because we don't want to risk the another doctor at life so every time we have this incident every time there will be bilateral talks it will be highlighted for some time for few months but again the things repeats but But never Dr. the Anand, law that comes in act that is what the center has so, to do today i know you are talking in your capacity yes. as secretary of pharma which is a pan india body but today this was a meeting which was meant to be with the chief minister for a state level strike to be called off you may not speak for those doctors who are protesting today but surely even you would perhaps counsel advise that you know this might be taking it a bit too far central law per the talks are going to happen but this is not the demand which these doctors yeah, put no. forward the uh, first of all i want to say that as a state level also since the uh, incident had happened on mm. the in the uh, first week end of the first week of the august but the things what happened after that the midnight of 14th august when thousands of goons rushed into the peaceful protest that was happening in arjikar medical college and they started to beat the doctors okay. the doctors were rushed to their rooms and they were hid, hiding somewhere behind the tanks on the roofs and they were uh, after that they were in tears that no one were there available to save guard them even the police even the security forces were not available at okay. that time to safeguard with those thousands of goons that came on the midnight of 14th august okay. when there was the independence day celebration that nehru once uh, talked about that but it All was right, very Bibu much Anand, i get your point i get your point but i'm afraid we are digressing so let me bring it back be, and get uh, yeah, uh, ask my next yeah. question to dr riju datta national yeah. spokesperson of the tmc dr riju datta if i have to focus again on the current strike in west bengal there were four demands which were put up by the striking doctors there was one of having a 30 member delegation from the initial what was agreed to a 15 that the state government approved there was a demand that the chief minister will be present in the meeting that the chief minister approved there were demand that talks will only be around the five core demands which they put including the resignation of senior officials the top cop and also the chief minister said that okay come we'll decide the sticking point was the live telecast of a meeting for transparency now my question is riju datta when the court is when the supreme court hears the matter there things are already being telecast live so whatever raps or whatever raps on the knuckles come from the supreme court of west bengal government that is there for the country to decide so after all of that why is was this the only sticking point for mamta banerjee's government surely you could have asked for a live telecast what would have happened what worse could have happened here instead we would have had at least the the gesture going out to the chief minister ready literally to stoop to conquer uh the first point is that it cannot be done live streaming cannot be done when a matter is sub judice and in the supreme court it is under cbi investigation and that is cleared that was cleared in the press conference by none other than the chief minister herself there is a protocol that needs to be followed mm. every most of the demands of the junior doctors have been met but i have some basic questions because uh, there are a couple of doctors here are also on the panel uh one doctor said that on 14th night doctors were beaten up that's an incorrect statement that a false statement none of the doctors were beaten up the hospital was ransacked and yes there was a lack of mm. uh, security there and i admit that the second point is the most important that's point true. what i want to ask the viewers and the doctors on this panel is live streaming more important than the lives of poor patients who cannot afford private health care today the chief minister for the last 3 days she waited for 2 hours on an average the chief minister with the chief secretary the dgp of the police and the highest authorities were waiting for the junior doctors to talk about 
security of doctors in the state to talk about upgradation of health infrastructure because the solution can come only through dialogue my only question is this yeah. was a live stream more important than a meeting of the junior doctors with the chief minister dg uh, dgp of the police and the chief secretary then live streaming and helping poor patients still now 27 patients have lost their lives in west bengal because the doctors were not available at the hospital because of this protest i am not even going into what the supreme court has said my only humble submission is this but Riju, that, the, what that the is also humility. a figure which is being contested by the doctors and that on what basis we have had the uh, ima when bengal charter coming up with a statement saying that on what basis have you come up with this figure that 27 doctors have 20 and patients have lost their lives and they've lost their lives because only because, because junior staff are not protesting. So I'm, I'm there saying, are I'm saying, claims I'm saying, and counterclaims which have been contested no, 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 no. on both I'm sides. A no, I'm giving a clear okay. answer. I'm giving a clear answer. The clear answer is that that when in uh, Abaya's case, whatever the victim's family says, hmm. we will we have never gone into postmortem of their statements and we have given the benefit of doubt to them. So these 27 cases. The people mm. that there's a young guy called Vikram, a 28-year-old guy who died in Arjikar Hospital, who was an accident case, who was not treated for three hours. His mother came mm. on national TV and on yeah. other and in a press brief that my son died, my 20-year-old boy died because doctors said we are on protest, we will not treat your son. So uh, can me or you or anybody say that his mother is lying? We don't do that. My only humble submission to all junior doctors going forward is this. Continue your protest. We support your protest. One doctor said CPA. Trinomal Congress completely supports CPA. We support it. But for the sake of the people, for the sake of okay. the hypocritic oath that you have taken, provide service to the underprivileged who cannot afford... Okay, let me then go care. across to That's a senior doctor saying. on the panel, Dr. E doctor Riju Datta. Let me ask a very senior member, Dr. Ishwar Gilada is joining us. Dr. Gilada, I asked, you, I asked this question to you as a... Senior doctor, someone who represents the medical fraternity, who's been the voice of reason for many years, even during the pandemic itself. Was a live stream more important than the Hippocratic Oath? We all understand the pain doctors are going through. But I choose my words very carefully when I say that the impression today, this meeting of open empty chairs at chief ministers is that perhaps now a point has come where the medical system is being taken hostage by the sake of a protest here. Should this have been avoided, Dr. Gilada? Pritamshu, thank you very much for having me on the show. It is really a painful scenario on either side. Mm. Uh, it is important that there has to be a kind of a, a bill which is pending for the last two years, which is Prevention of Atrocities or Violence Against Medical Establishment Act. That is not passed. But on the other hand, having yeah. laid a lot of successful agitation in my uh, student days, I feel that student and the young doctor should understand one thing. There are four powers. Media power, public power, which is represented by public uh, representatives or chief minister or any politicians, executive power, and the legal power. Mm -hmm. All the four powers were startled by your agitation. Now, all the four powers will go against you if you continue the strike without any kind of much reason. Secondly, live telecast or uh, suspend this doc director, suspend that director. What is the guarantee that next director will be favorable to your demand? So I think these are all childish demands. This doctor should understand that they are no more children. Yeah. Though they are junior doctors, they should have grown up to this level. I do not know what is politics in West Bengal. I do not want to get into that. But on the very next day, when this thing happened, I failed only five demands. And those five demands should be uh, central to everybody. Safety and security of the people, fast track trials, Absolutely. highest punishment, uh, and also self-defense to the doctors. If uh, 30 days you are uh, uh, sitting there, you could have done a self-defense uh, course there. You defend yourself. And secondly, your action should speak. Because at this level, if you lose the sympathy of uh, poor no. people... Dr. I think Gilada, I'm not sure about the self-defense part. No, no, doctors are weakening by two ways. I'm not One sure about the self-defense part. Then we get into very dangerous territory other as to whether the Arjikar victim could have defended herself. Yeah, junior no. doctor is in the hospital. Junior doctor is a big power in the hospital. So they can't say that okay. because we are not there, seniors are running. If I'm a senior, most of the job is done by junior. So I think juniors should not lose their power. They are a very powerful machinery in running the hospitals. 
they should say that because we have not their the work has okay. not hampered, work has hampered. And so they should understand this thing. And even if they go there and they do not want to agree with what the CM or somebody is offering, it is up to them to continue. But at this time, they should withdraw the strike, honor the Supreme Court. They do not know the power of the Supreme Court. They will be uh, put so all even someone power. as senior as Dr. Gilada is saying that it's time that the junior doctors right now call off the strike, especially given the fact that it is now in the words Mr. Dr. Gilada has used is childish. Let me now bring in the BGP spokesperson Raj Chaudhary at this point, Mr. Chaudhary. At a time when the nationwide demand is for the enactment for a bill which has been in cold storage for the last two years in the central government, which is headed by your party for the last many years, is the BJP doing its job as a responsible opposition by encouraging and supporting a protest which has now brought the healthcare system to its knees? Let's be honest at this point here. Empty statements saying the chief minister should resign might not be the best option. There can be 20 other statements being leveled against BJP chief ministers and BJP leaders here if everyone starts resigning after every incident here. The way forward is dialogue. Today was a good opportunity. Did the junior doctors of Bengal make a mistake by not accepting that opportunity? See, uh, it is Mamta Banerjee who made a mistake by not meeting the doctors. Firstly, uh, there is a confusion that the doctors, uh, the demands of the doctors were uh, made. How no, did Mamta Banerjee the make them make the one second? One second. How, how did Mamta Banerjee not meet the doctors? She has asked the doctors to come. She set up a stage if, for the doctors would, to come and meet her. Itanshu, how did Mamta Banerjee not meet the doctors? The doctors didn't meet Mamta Banerjee. Listen to me. You have to give time. Please, please listen to me. The junior doctors have put five demands. Firstly, they want a, they uh, want the health secretary mm. to be sacked. They want uh, the CP the, of Kolkata to be sacked. They want strict action against the police officials mm. who uh, were accused of some kind of uh, evidence tampering. They want these uh, things to be discussed, and none of these things are under uh, sub are, are not uh, sub judice matter. So, Mamta Banerjee, uh, if she really wanted to uh, a discussion, she would have discussed all these things, but she denied. Number one, number two, Lok Sabha and Rajya Ms. Sabha proceedings are done live. Supreme Court proceedings are done live. We are debating on this issue, which is actually sub judice. We are doing this debate live. So what is the problem in, uh, in live telecast? I am telling you, where is the problem? Because TMC want to present this entire thing as per their own convenience for their own convenience. The spokesperson of TMC sitting here a few days back, uh, he uploaded a video claiming that it is a protest of BJP. Uh, I am telling you the truth. A club organized a program on Manisha Puja where a girl was dancing and he uploaded that video claiming it a BJP video. So people of West Bengal, junior doctors are aware that TMC survives on video toolkit managed no, no, and second. monitored by IPAC. So they don't Okay, okay, want okay. I, I don't want to, I really want to keep this very tight in terms of debate on terms of the topic. Raj Chaudhary, no, no, one second. Raj Chaudhary, sorry. Raj Chaudhary, you made two points. One point was about the demands which the chief minister, you see, should have accepted. That, I think, is factually wrong because this meeting was to discuss those demands and to have this meeting, there was a separate list of demands. One of them was the live telecast. But your point on live telecast is taken and I'll let Dr. Riju Datta answer that before we got a, another controversial bite coming in from the governor. But Dr. Riju Datta, the point is this, what the same question I asked you. Proceedings in India, whether it be in the court, whether it be in parliament, live or even in media panels, their live telecast is seen as a sign of transparency. Did the Mamta Banerjee government have something to hide, which is why she was not keen on having a live telecast of all things? Clearly, uh, is that the only stick? That was that a sticking point? Yeah. Um, I'll be very honest with you. You know, the medical profession has grown by leaps and bounds, and technology has been has progressed by leaps and bounds. But unfortunately, there is still no medicine for illiteracy. I. Category wants to say this, that when the case is investigated by the CBI, it is in the Supreme Court where the government of West Bengal is a party. When the government of West Bengal is a party to the case, there 
outside the bounds of the Supreme Court, the chief, the chief Mr. minister of the no, state no, no. cannot Dr. have an Riju open Datta. meeting with the other Dr. Riju Datta, see, I cannot state. allow conflation of issues. What the Supreme Court is looking at is the probe into what happened in Ajikar Hospital a month of ago. Course. What the doctors are demanding are further steps. Those are not things which are necessarily directly within the Supreme you, Court's have ambit. You seen, have, you, have you seen the... And even if that was the answer, you could have just called the doctors, given into the demands, calmed them down and said that, listen, we can only proffer you this much. Before Beyond that, it is in the ambit of the courts. Rit Ritanshu, I'm sure, I'm sure your channel has the communication that was sent by the Chief Secretary to the Junior Doctors Forum. There it is clearly yes. mentioned that even the Chief Minister in the press conference has clearly said that there were three cameras present to videotape the entire procedure, the entire discussion that would have taken place. And if the junior doctors wanted, that entire videotape would have been given to them or could have been submitted in the Supreme Court. That has been very made clear like, uh, like water. But, but again, I will tell you, I have no answer why a live stream is more important than the Hippocratic Oath. I sincerely do not have an answer. I, as my chief minister, will beg with my hands I don't think it's. To the junior I don't think it's a question doctors. of priorities I, anymore, Dr. Riju It's can I a finish? question about who can be the bigger person at this point. Can I, can I, the fact still remains that there is a massive credibility crisis right now, which is with the Trinamool Congress government. Let's, be ac let's accept the fact. Otherwise, three of your MPs would have not come out in criticism. Given the fact that there's a mass, in terms of optically, there's a massive credibility crisis with the government. The government, I feel, in my opinion, should have gone the extra mile, even if it's a step which you feel is unwarranted, just to calm down sentiments and show that you're ready to talk. Meanwhile, speaking of statements which perhaps might not be in the right sense, let's listen to what the West Bengal governor has now said. He said that he will socially boycott the chief minister, if that makes sense. Let's play that out. जब तक बंगाल के लोगों को न्याय नहीं मिल जाता, जब तक दोषियों को गिरफ्तार करने के लिए कार्यवाही नहीं हो जाती, जब तक लोगों को यक्की नहीं हो जाता है कि न्याय हुआ है, मैं राज्यपाल तौर पर इंतजार नहीं कर सकता, इसलिए इसलिए मैं संगल प्रयत्ता हूँ कि मैं मुख्यमंत्री का सामाजिक बहिष्करण करूंगा सामाजिक बहिष्करण सोशल बॉयकॉट ऑफ द चीफ मिनिस्टर now, I would genuinely like to ask my viewers whether that statement of socially boycotting a chief minister achieves anything or not at this point. That verdict is up for now. But for now, at least, if there's one thing we can take from this debate, it is the fact that right now, both sides could perhaps step out of their stands and look at the larger picture. Yes, doctors are suffering, but the very reason why doctors picked up their profession, the patients are also suffering. It's a decision which should not be either or. And I'm sure a decision should and could be worked out at this point. Raj Chaudhary, Dr. Riju Datta, Dr. Ishwar Gilada, and also Dr. Bibu Anand, thank you so much for joining us on this special edition of the Urban Debate. It's time for a short break. On the other side is The Nation Tonight with Shreya Upadhyay. Stay tuned. <laughs>